Back to our recipes page. I said I wanted to display a list of recipes here. So let's include a I list. And now the nice thing is here in Visual Studio Code with the Angular Essentials package installed, I now get auto completion here in my templates. Thanks to this Ionic Angular wrapper actually, which unlocks all the Ionic components as Angular components. And I would get auto completion support for Angular components here. Hence, I get it for these Ionic components too, because they're all wrapped into Angular components, so to say. So I can add my ion list here. And on that ion list or in that ion list, I want to render a couple of items, a couple of recipes. Now, of course, we don't have any recipes yet. And I will not create an overly complex app at this point. We'll do that later with the course project. So for now, I will simply create a new file here, my recipe model TypeScript to define how a recipe should look like. And uh, I'll use an interface here, name it recipe. And I want my recipes to, let's say, have an ID, which is of type string, um, a title, which is of type string, an image URL, which is of type string, and then some uh, ingredients, uh, which is uh, an array of strings, something like bananas, apples. So a really simple recipe definition. Now, in case this is something you've never seen, Again, please go through my Angular complete guide first. This is a TypeScript feature. We're defining an interface here. We can basically use this as our own type and we can ensure that we therefore always work with the same data, with uh, data with the same structure in our application. So with the recipe interface created here in the recipes page TypeScript file, I will now add a recipes property, which is of type recipe array. And the recipe is, of course, my own model. And therefore, this type has to be imported from the recipe model file. And uh, this should not be an empty array. But instead, I'll start with an array that already has a couple of recipes. And each recipe should have an ID, like R1, whatever you like. It should have a title, like schnitzel. If you took my Angular complete guide, you know what I'm talking about. It should have an image URL. And for that, I'll quickly pick a lovely schnitzel image. Here, I copied in a URL. You can simply find an image um, where on Google image search. Later in the course, I'll show you how to use the device camera. But for now, let's go with this hard-coded URL here. And I also need my ingredients. And here, we certainly need French fries. And uh, we need uh, pork meat. And uh, maybe we also... Um, need some salad. Now I'll quickly add another recipe here. And of course you can add anything you want. I'll go with some uh, nice spaghettis here and quickly search an image for that as well. Brought in a URL and ingredient wise, we need spaghetti and we need uh, meat and probably also some tomatoes. Now here I got uh, some linting error regarding my URL being too long. Um, I'll just ignore that here. So with the recipes added here, I want to output them in my ion list. And this can be done by a, adding an ion item here. And since I want to repeat this uh, for every element in my ingredient list, I'll dump an ng4 statement on it. So using the default ng4 directive, we can use in any Angular project. And then I'll go through all my recipes I have here. So with let recipe of recipes, I loop for all my recipes. And in the ion item here, I of course want to display the image, let's say on the left. And on the right, I then want to have my text. For that, we can use a component I haven't shown you before. And of course, as always, you'll find that in the official docs. And that would be the ion avatar. This is a component which can wrap the ion image. And the ion image in the end is like the normal image just with some optimizations. One of the optimizations being that it's only loading the image when it's uh, visible, so when the user can actually see it. So if it's scrolled down uh, outside of the current viewport of the user, this will not be loaded. And I'll bind that with property binding, square brackets, to my recipe image URL here. Now, this avatar here will get a slot of start in the ion items so that it's all the way on the left. And next to the avatar, I'll add an ion label here as a wrapper around my text simply. 
And there we can use string interpolation to output the recipe title. With that, let's save it and let's see what we get when this application runs. Here, this looks very nice. We got this list of elements and here we already see how ionic components, these ones here wrapped into angular components, thanks to at ionic angular and angular works together. 